In this next section of the presentation, we'll discuss how to find articles in the database for your assignments and research. First, click on the Finding Articles tab in the subject guide that is best for your area. In the center of the page is a list of databases that are great to use when researching topics in a particular area of research. When looking for articles, choose one database to start with. If you do not find enough articles in the database that you chose, then go back to the list and select another database. For the purpose of this demonstration, we will be looking at Education Source. If you are accessing the library's databases on and off campus, you will land on this page when you click on the database titles. It is at this point that you will need to enter your MyGate username in the username box and the network or consolidated password that you created at the beginning of this presentation in the password box. When you click submit, you will then be directed to the main page of the database. This is the main page for the database education source. All the EBSCO databases will look and function in the same way. The main difference is the resources that the database searches. To begin any search, we will need to first start with the search boxes. When entering search terms into the search box, you will first need to know that the database will not work like Google. Google will help you think by making suggestions about what to enter into the box. A database will not do that except for maybe two word combinations. It will also stick the word and between every word in Google. A database will not do that. So for example, you would like to search for articles on teaching strategies for integrating science. In the first box you will type teaching strategies and in the second box type science. And in the third box, if you want to narrow it down to a particular grade level, type like elementary education. At this point, you will probably want to click search to see what articles you will retrieve. But wait, we need to scroll down and look at some limiters to find the best articles. First, even though it is tempting, do not click the full text only option. If you click this button, it will cause the database to only look for articles within the database and not consider if they are available in full text in other locations. By leaving this blank, the database will give you the option to link to a great article on your topic in another location. Many professors will require you to find articles that are scholarly or peer-reviewed journals. By checking this box for scholarly peer-reviewed journals, the database will only find articles that are peer-reviewed. Next, some professors would like you to only find recently published articles or in other terms, you will find only articles that are published in the last 5 to 10 years. If you enter dates into the published date from box, the database will only find you articles that are in that date range. After you've set any limiters on your search, then it is time to click the search button to find articles. This view is showing the results for the topic searching for teaching strategies, science, and elementary education with the limiters of peer review and only articles within the last 10 years. This search found 79 articles that we could possibly use when researching this topic. If you forgot to add limiters, you can always add them at any time by making adjustments on the left-hand column of the screen. It's now time to look at an article. To look more closely at an article, click on the article title. The news screen presents you with a more detailed information about the article. If I'm not finding a lot of articles on the topic, I always look at the subject terms of an article that will work for my paper to see if any of those terms will work better to find articles. You'll find these in the middle of the page. The second piece of information that I always look for before going any further is the abstract. It will provide a brief summary of the article to let me know if this article will work for my paper. Then I will look for the article citation. On the right side of the page is a list of tools that are useful when examining articles. The most important tool is the Cite button, which is fifth on the list. When you click on this link, the database will provide you with a citation for the article in different citation styles. In the College of Education and Human Services, you are required to cite your articles using APA 6th edition as illustrated here. When copying this citation into a Word document, you will most likely need to fix one part of the citation the title. 
The rule for APA 6th edition is the only words in the title that should be capitalized is the first word of the title, the first word of the subtitle, and any proper nouns or adjectives. The database does not fix the citations for capitalization as illustrated in this example. In the first version, every word of the title is capitalized. In the second version, the errors are corrected. Another helpful tool that the database provides is the permalink option. By clicking on the permalink, a permanent web address link for this article will appear on the screen. This link can be copied and saved into a document so you can easily return to this article in the database if you need to. When I'm researching, I always keep a working reference word document with citations and permalinks of all the articles I'm considering using in a research paper so I can retrace my steps in a database if I need to. Just remember that the permalink should not be included in the works cited page that you turn into your professor. Before clicking on the article, there is one more useful feature to point out. Cited references. The database provides a link to the list of all references that are in an article. The list of articles provides access to get MSU link to access the resource from another source or link to the article in the database. The references of an article are always great to use for additional resources for a paper, especially when you're not finding a lot of articles on your topic. It's now time to access the actual article. On the left of the screen, you will see either a link for a PDF full text or a link to HTML or the Get It MSU button. If it says PDF or HTML, you will have instant access to the article by clicking the link. Sometimes it may give you a choice of HTML or PDF. I suggest to select the PDF because it will include all the graphs and pictures that accompany an article and the HTML or not. Note, if you click PDF or HTML and the article does not appear on the screen, you may need to disable your internet browser's pop-up blocker to retrieve the article. If the article does not have an option for PDF or HTML, click on the Get It at MSU button to see if the article is available somewhere else or to request the article through Iliad or Interlibrary Loan. If the pop-up box provides a link to an electronic copy of the article, click on one of the links and it will take you to the article. If the pop-up box says that to request it from another library, that means the library will request another library to share the article with you. This is usually free. The request is usually filled in two to seven days. The interlibrary loan office is closed on weekends. If the pop-up box says it's available in the library's print journal collection, that means the article is available in paper at the library. You can either go to the library to view the article in person or click on the Iliad link to request the library to scan it for you and send it to you electronically through the Iliad interface. The request is usually completed within 24 to 48 hours Monday through Friday. The interlibrary loan office is closed on weekends. There is not a charge for this service. Remember, if you do not find enough articles in one database, try another database on the Finding Articles page.